hey, this is Shiraz, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I clear it for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Um, I was just thinking that I consistently post on LinkedIn and Facebook and I'm very conscious of what I'm posting. I want to be able to reach a lot of people, but I get crickets with comments and likes. Okay. And then I'm, I feel very insecure about posting. So a few weeks ago, I created a newsletter. So I started creating newsletter. Within three, four days, I've got over 600 subscribers. So the content seems to be good. But then mm -hmm. when I'm posting on LinkedIn, I always feel that... I'm I'm holding back because I I feel like I'm I'm judging myself really. Okay. <laughs> I'm a worse enemy. So, what reason do you have for holding back? I always think, who wants to read this? <laughs> you know, what value am I giving? Because okay. the conversion doesn't seem to. I don't really get a lot of conversions from it. And yet, when I created this newsletter, I had a really good reach. And okay. so I'm conflicted. <laughs> so practically, if the newsletter is getting a good reach, then you want to lead people from the newsletter into your funnel and start nurturing them towards clients. Okay. Yes. So that's one thing I would get on right away because you found something that works. If your mind is saying, who wants to listen to me? That's just old programming where someone convinced you you're not worth a lot, right? Uh, Jennifer Takagi, uh, she has a phrase that I absolutely love. And it's, it's uh, when the devil talks to you, it makes perfect sense, but it's always harsh. When God talks to you, it may not make any sense, but it's always love. So when you hear that voice saying, well, who wants to listen to you? <laughs> That sounds pretty harsh, doesn't it? <laughs> right. So that is the devil or your subconscious beliefs of the training you've had that you aren't worth a lot. Okay. You absolutely are worth a lot. People that teach you you aren't worth a lot feel that they aren't worth a lot. And there's two things they'll two reasons they will teach you that. Number one is to make themselves feel better. Right. So, you know. Like any anyone you find putting other people down, they're in a place of low self-esteem, all right? Because people in places of high self-esteem just don't put people down. They don't need to. The other thing is, and this usually comes up with parents, if they don't feel like they're worth a lot, then they create that belief in you to try to protect you against, the, because they think the world's going to try and put you down. So, you know, stay small so that you don't get um, judged and ridiculed and everything. So they put that belief in you as a form of protection, even though it's screwing you up, Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that what you have to offer is not valuable? Yes. <coughs> are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure you don't say anything that can get you judged harshly? Yes. Yeah. There are a few people that went to a lot of resistance on that. You have to be willing to be judged harshly, just as you want to be judged at amazingly. Right, because the universe works on resistance. However much resistance you're putting to being judged harshly is the same amount you're being 
and you're putting to being judged amazingly, except you don't realize that. You think, oh, I'm, I'm willing to go this way, but just a little bit this way. It doesn't work like that. However far you're going one way, it's always equal the other way. So you have to be willing to go through a whole bunch of crap to get to the life you want. It doesn't mean that you plan to go through it. You're just like, if it shows up, I'll go through it. And when you're willing to get the bad stuff and the good stuff, you tend to just get the good stuff. Just start showing up. It's wonderful. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? Thank you. I feel great. I feel Yay. great. Yay. I, I feel really good. <laughs> okay. So what we like to Thank do you. after a session is fill the chat up with love for the person I worked in. So let's give Marjorie some love. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.